Seafood Express. Kimberly speaking. Hey, Kimberly. How's it going? I'm well. How are you today? I am fine. Thank you. Out of all the companies that I've been doing my research on, of course, I go to uh, social media because, you know, everybody is on social media right now. But I'm in a social media group. Um, one of my one of my driver buddies kind of suggested me to give you guys a call to, to see what you guys got to offer. Now, when okay. he when he mentioned that to me, I, I, I got to honestly say, do you guys just sorely do seafood freight or is that just the name of the company? No, that's just the name of the company. We do we do um, mostly food, though, you know. Um, but uh, the boys are driving reefers. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. there's there is there is there any dry vans uh, in in your fleet or no? I I think everything that we have, um, you know, has the the capability of uh, you know warming or cooling. Um, it doesn't mean that we don't. Um, uh, you know, use them as a drive van as well, right? Oh, okay, okay. So you just use your you just yeah. use your uh, temperature control trailers as as drive vans as needed, right? It, yeah, as far as yeah, from what I understand, yeah. All right, all right. Well, my name's Sean. Um, I have uh, six years of experience uh, truck driving. Uh, I'm just uh, curious to see uh, what you guys have available. If you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind me getting a couple of minutes of your time and uh also if you don't mind that if i share that i share this with uh with my trucker buddies as well um i would mm -hmm. like to know a little bit more uh about the company if i may sure sure awesome okay um how how yeah. long how long so oh i'm sorry go ahead no no you go ahead go ahead how how Halfway. is this a canada company or something like that how long you guys been in existence yeah yeah, uh, about 35 years, and uh, we are out of um, uh, Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Okay, Rhode, Rhode Island. So is that in Canada? No, Char no Charlottetown. Charlotte. It, it, the city is Charlottetown, and the province is PEI. Oh, okay. Can you help me out with that, with the abbreviation of PEI? What sure. Is, what is that? Per Prince Edward Island. Oh, Prince Edward Island. Now, where where is that? Where is that per se? Is that in Canada or is that in the U.S.? No, that's Canada on the East Coast. Oh, it's Canada on the East Coast. Okay. Now, be, now yeah. let me ask you this question right quick. Quick question. Um, you guys do hire uh, drivers from the States, though, right? They don't have to necessarily live in Canada, do they? No, because we do um, we do the uh, runs as well, right? So, so a lot of uh, I guess it depends on where you are, though, um, sir. Because mostly we're you know doing um, down to Jersey, so it'd be like down, uh, from if you if you happen to leave from PEI, you'd go down to Jersey up to Ontario, and then and then back across again to to the Maritimes. But we have we have drivers um, across you know that live in other areas as well. Um, now that's a good question. All of our all of our guys that we really do need need to be able to do Canada and the U.S. Right, right. So you have to be able to do cross border. Where where are you located? Well, I'm I'm out of Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, okay. Now I understand if uh, uh, some you know that the reach might not be down to me. But my mm -hmm. other question to you is if 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 uh, drivers such as myself is willing to move a little bit closer to you guys then will my then will my uh stakes of being hired on will raise per se okay um i mean i would have to i'd have to check on that to, to be sure okay um so what what are you thinking about like where would you <clears throat> Where would you be willing to relocate? You want you obviously want to stay in the U.S. Yes, but yes. you know, okay. but wait a minute, wait a minute. I I never now hold on. Now, if you guys can, would would you guys uh would you guys uh give me like a uh what do you call it uh 
was I know some companies, not just trucking companies, but like like Fortune 500 companies will move uh move a driver from from one state to another, but in this case it'd be from one continent to another. Am I right? So would you guys would you guys be able to foot the bill for me if I decide to come to Canada? You mean like moving expenses, et cetera? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um, I I would also have to check um, with oh. Andy on that. Okay. Okay. Um, but I'm I'm taking I'm writing all of this down. Yeah. Um, so that, yeah. It's, <laughs> exactly. Okay. I'm I'm taking notes as well. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So, um, of course, uh, if you guys do decide, if, if you guys do take somebody from uh from the states, where would the orientation mm -hmm. be? Would the would the orientation be up in Canada? Yes, we would fly you in um, okay. for orientation. Uh, yeah, um, and probably like we'd have to go through you know all all the regular you know information that I would need. Right. Um, your CV, your driver's license, right. criminal record check, right. abstract. You know, just just the regular things. Yeah, to get um, to, to then, get approved. Uh, I, I take it. I mean, I you know we exactly. we want you know if it, if I. If I can't if I can't get approved for any reason, then you know there there won't be no reason to you know waste each other's time. Mm -hmm. um, now now by you guys doing all those background checks and everything, my other question is, what could get a driver disqualified? Um, well, I guess are you are you currently able to move between the U.S. and Canada? Because the biggest thing would be that you wouldn't be able to travel between between the two countries, you know, for for whatever reason. Oh yeah, I'm, um, yeah, I'm able. The, yeah, I'm able to move yeah. between between the two countries. Yes. Well, yeah. So I mean, you know, and if there wasn't anything um, glaring, you know, like you had a, a huge list of. Um, uh, issues in terms of uh, driving, you know what I mean? Like okay. coming in from your driver's um, abstract. Uh, and obviously you probably have a, a fairly good uh, criminal record check then because you, right. you know, you have to, as long as you're able to, to cross border then. Um, um, you know, and experience, are, experience is the big thing. And you're telling me you've been truck driving for six years. Yes, ma'am. Um, what about, what now, what, what about, kind, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, I was just wondering what kind of equipment. Uh, drive-in reefer tankers, um, and I I dabbled a little bit in flatbedding. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, travel cross borders. Um, that shouldn't be too much. That that's that yeah. My that shouldn't be too much for my record. But as far as uh as far as records that y'all look at, of course y'all look at the PSP. But do you guys look at the DAC report as well? Or do you know what it uh, is? the DAC report? Okay. No, I don't know. I'm not familiar. <laughs> I'm hitting yeah, you. that I'm, must be in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hitting you with something like, oh, well, okay, what's that? All right. Um, I'm I'm going over the I'm 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 going over the uh. The, the things that you guys offer and by the way y'all website is hella good i y'all website wh whoever the website designer uh cheers to to them for for putting this website okay, together very good. <laughs> um all right so let's start um during orientation now let's just say now we we talking hypothetical here so you know i'm already in i'm i'm already flown up there i already accept and we're getting to the, you know, just going through the motions of everything. As far as orientation, how long? How long is orientation? Oh, uh, orientation I, is just the day. Oh. Um, okay. Like we, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's too awful long, but um, I, I, I suppose it will depend on how large the class is and such. Now, the gentleman that that does uh, orientation, he's not in this week. He'll be back. He'll be back next week because he's on vacation, so he could give you a little bit more detail about that. But um, it's it's normally, as far as I know, it's the day after orientation. We do send you in for um, uh, drug drug and you know well drug testing, right? Drug testing before before you head off on the road, you know. Is and it, then usually the is yeah. it, is it urine and, or 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 yeah. hair follicles? Um, no, I believe it's just 
just urine. Oh, okay. All right. Continue, please. Um, and then, uh, and then you would have your uh, after that. Would you have to wait, of course, for there to be a negative um, negative test to come back. Right. And then basically, you'd be you'd be given a truck, and and away you go. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. the competitive packages. What do you, what do you guys got to offer? Uh, rate per mile. Is it is this rate per mile or is this percentage? No, no. So so um, cents per mile is the way we do it. So anyone that has has three years and over, which you do, um, you'd start at uh, fifty cents per mile. Um, and of course, right now we have a thousand dollar signing bonus to come on with us. Um, and then you also have a cent bonus mile, okay? So if you reach all your miles, and, and we're averaging about 4,800, okay? So that would be your minimum. Okay. Your 4,800 miles for the two weeks. Then as long as you hit that mileage, then you automatically get your, your one cent bonus on top of your mile. So basically you'd be at 51 cents. Oh, okay. And that bonus is paid out every two weeks. It doesn't accumulate like we don't do it. Um, you know, some people do it. Some companies do it monthly or quarterly yeah, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. We do it. We do it every two weeks. Okay. Okay. So if that's the mm-hmm. case, yeah. and you said you it, now, you said we go we we can average about how many miles a week? About four four forty eight hundred every two weeks. Forty eight hundred. Forty eight hundred for two weeks. Oh, oh, this is yeah. a total for forty eight hundred for two weeks. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. for the two weeks of 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 driving, I can average. I I can gross about twenty four hundred twenty four hundred dollars uh every two weeks. Um. Now I I did read somewhere that the payout is bi weekly, so that so we get paid Correct. every two weeks there. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh man, that's something that I'm going to have to get used deposit. to. Yeah, that's something that I'm going to have to get used to. But I mean, if everything else is 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 good, it's is it part might be it part might be great. Um, all right. Um, so th- now that's do you guys bring drivers in with less than uh less years of experience? Like I have a I have a buddy that's just now graduating out of Tri C truck driving school. And, you know, he, you know, he's getting ready to come out into the trucking field. Would you guys be able to bring him on? Uh, we, we, we normally like to have like, um, the standard really in Canada is, uh, most companies look for, for two years, but okay. it's just, we're, we're in too much of a shortage for drivers. Mm-hmm. So our company, we are willing to look at people that have, um, six months. Okay. experience so it would be it would be preferred if you know if your friend was able to get some you know real world experience right right uh, especially if he'd be looking at kind of moving his whole life um yeah up you to know. canada uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that that would be yeah. yeah that would be a big uh that would be a bit step uh that would be a bit step it forward. would um, but all right. Yeah. So let me ask you. Mostly, you know, yeah. Now let me ask you this. We, obviously, we'd oh. have to do a a, tri- a driving. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we'd have to do a driving test mm-hmm. somewhere. You know, along the way. Um, you know, even with yourself, if if it was something that you were looking at doing before you made any life changes, of course, we'd want to finalize that last step and just have a just have testing done for you. Got you. For your your sign on, your signed on, yeah. Now let me ask you this. Now I know uh, I I know moving to Canada will probably be a big step for me, but and I know that you said that you know you you you'll have to look into that, and that's cool. We 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 can we can we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, but my other question is, if I do want to stay in the states, would that be would that be okay too? Of would I be able to take my truck home with me? Okay. Yeah. See, that's that's a little bit harder because that would be. Oh. It would depend. Uh-huh. It would be depend where you are because if you're if you're if you're living in the area where we know we generally have pickups and drop offs, it's not it's not a huge deal. Okay. Um, a lot of the guys that are you know in in the vicinity, um, but if you have to travel say two hours out. And that's just two hours of empty miles out and two hours of empty miles back. Probably, then we would have to have a place where you would 
would leave your truck and, and then just go home in your own vehicle. Yeah, we so, yeah now now we we talking about it, now we yeah. we talking about from uh you said New Jersey will be the will be the turnaround. Yeah, we point. do. So where my much, where yeah. where I stay again where I stay is a lot of hours out. <laughs> yeah, so, on, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I mean, if you were going to be in Ohio, then yeah, we yeah. wouldn't be able to. Uh, yeah, we'd have to just have a, a depot somewhere, you know, close to where our regular routes would be for you to um, have your vehicle waiting for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, what kind of, what kind of uh, health? Now, this is Canada. I hear your health benefits or I hear your health out there is free. Am I, am I wrong in saying that? No, that's correct. For the most part, um, like anything, if you have to, you know, go to the hospital, see a doctor, um, anything like that, that is that is free. Surgery's free. You know, um, when it comes to when it comes to things like um, uh, dental and vision and prescription drugs, okay, mm -hmm. that is something that you sign on with us um, with a health care plan. Okay. And uh, and then the health care plan would kick in. You'd pay, you know, whatever that would be um, uh, per month. That would just come off your check. And then so then your dental and your vision and everything is, is covered up to 80 percent. Normally, it's 80 okay. percent. Don't don't quote me on that because I haven't uh, I haven't checked the driver's ones. Um, but. Um, yeah, but 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 generally, you know, in in Canada, if, if you need uh, surgery or if you need to see a doctor, if you need to go to the hospital, anything like that, that's all covered. Man, under, I, I need to take my the, the federal I, government. I need I need to take my ass there. I I, I need to come up there. I, I I need to come up to Canada just sorely <laughs> for the free health care, man. Because early this year, I I I came down with uh, COVID pneumonia, and the hospital. I was in the hospital for three three and a half weeks. Uh, about another about another two weeks at home before I actually you know got back to work, but yeah, them 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 hospital bills is coming in now. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need gonna need to gonna need to hop up there for just just for the healthcare alone, man. Um, <laughs> what uh what what kind of equipment you guys uh what kind of what kind of trucks you guys have? Um, we run Cascades. And uh, they're all 2015s and newer. Okay, okay. Um, it says here satellite uh, equipped trucks. What that was satellite mm -hmm. TV or just satellite what? <laughs> so so meaning you know um, for your uh, to help you uh, navigate for one thing, right? Right. And and also we're it's it's uh, I think it's it's not Omnitrack. Um, no. People net. Sam Sarah. I think no, it is Omnitrax that oh, okay. we're on. Qualcomm's. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's how yeah. we'll get our. That's that's why how we'll get our our load information and and we'll talk to our yep. dispatchers as well through the through the Qualcomm. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. All right, and, and so we're always, you know, there's we're always able to see where you are, and you know if there's right. you have any difficulties and if there's anything like that, yeah. Okay. Um. Now, as far as the freight goes, you said majority of the freight is 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 all food products, then, right? Yes, the majority of the of the freight is is food products. Now, I don't, I'm not down in dispatch, so I'm not, I'm not privy to exactly everything that they get, but, um, uh, you know, actually that would be, a, a question that if anyone else was upstairs in the office with me, I could ask them, but, um, right at the moment, but yeah, it's, as far as it, it's, they try to stick with, with the food products. It's gotcha. not just seafood. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, now, as far as uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys keep y'all trust up, uh, man, keep y'all trust maintained. Um, you did say y'all got we twenty, y'all got y'all got twenty fifteen trucks. That's kind of a little bit uh, deep. Hopefully, hopefully we will get into a, a a newer truck. But um, again, is you know, again, I'm I'm just 
you know, just reading off what you guys have on uh have on your website. Um, as far as the miles go, you did say uh, 4,800 every two weeks. We get paid every two weeks. Uh, holiday pay, detention pay, layover pay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, let me just see now. So, yeah, there's definitely vacation pay. Um, we, ha- we have family and friends mobile phone rate plans, too, that you can sign up to. Awesome. Um, and, yeah, and uh, also there's the, like, the, the health benefits, right? So that's a full benefit program. Um, and yes, layover as well. So uh, drops and picks are twenty five dollars per, um, and layovers up to one hundred and fifty dollars. Of course, uh, going across borders, uh, Canada and uh, U.S. Um, there are bridge tolls and and uh, and pre passes are covered uh, mm-hmm. are, are covered. Yep. Right, we we don't have to pay that. Right? No, no. No, so that your your truck will be equipped with any passes that uh, that you'll need. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. So the, yeah, so the passes are are in the in the trucks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I, I think that's uh, I think that's going to cover everything that uh, that I have to ask you. Is there is there anything that you think that I that I that I left out that I that I didn't ask you? Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, certainly, uh, you know, if there's anything else that you think of in the meantime, feel free to to reach out. Now, did you have you applied already, or you were just uh, kind of looking around and? No, no, no. I'm I'm just kind of looking around and you know just informa- yeah. information gathering. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but though, you know, that's interesting question about whether you could. Uh, um, if we have any drivers that live out of the right. U.S., so right. that's something that I'll certainly uh, I'll look into. Mm-hmm. And if there's anything that I have um, miscommunicated, you know, just from not being sure, I'll, I'll certainly can reach out to you and let you know. Oh, that's but no if problem. you are interested, and in, yeah, if you are interested, Sean, and in, in just kind of sending out your CV, just so I have your contact information and we can keep in touch, if you like. Um, feel free just to, uh, you can either go on to Indeed and, and send it, send your CV that way. Mm -hmm. Or if you, if you want, I can give you, um, our email address and you can send that and I can just watch for your CV to come through. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Especially if, uh, if, Mm -hmm. if I might be interested in the future to move up to Canada, that's, it's going to be a hard, that's going to be a hard sell to the family though. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Like, yo, I got a, I got, a, I got a job, uh, you know, uh, but it's up in Canada, though. Y'all, y'all want to come with me? <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, um, again, I want to ask you: is it, is it all right that I can share this information on my social media outlets? Uh, I, I, yeah. Do you mean just like uh, talking to your buddies over Facebook kind of thing? Is yeah. that what you mean? Or? Yeah. 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 No, I mean, it wouldn't be anything that I wouldn't tell them. So if you have other interested, uh, um, you know, candidates that, uh, that have some experience, that's, that's fabulous because we, we're certainly, we're certainly, uh, um, filling trucks and, and we have, um, some more fleet on the way uh, that we're waiting to to show up to. So yeah, we we have spots open for sure. But um, but I will definitely double check on the U.S. So do you want to just give me your number, or if you would like, perhaps I'll give you the email address so I can let you know about the U.S. Uh, uh, the U.S. possibilities. Yes, you can uh, email me at lockoutmen. That's L O C K O U T M E N. At gmail.com, all one word. Okay. All right. Okay, great. Because I, I want to I want to be able to answer that question for Not you. Not a problem. Not a problem. And I, I appreciate it. Once okay. you answer it, I'll definitely, again, definitely pass all this uh, information along. So, but I do appreciate all your right. time. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for calling, John. All right now. <laughs>